Hey everybody, Merry Christmas, welcome back. I figured I'd do just a real quick Christmas video. Uh, I'm going to sit here and do some more map editing as I'm learning how to do that, which is friggin' sweet. So, I hope everybody's having a wonderful Christmas. So, I'm going to sit here and uh, edit, continue learning how to edit this map. This is... This is the Alberta map, by the way, if you haven't uh, checked it out yet. Forumar did a, a really, really good job, but uh, there's a few things that I personally would like to change, and more than likely, you know, it'll just be for private use, but uh, I'm just using this particular map as a test to figure, you know, to learn Giants Editor uh, on my own. And, you know, I've watched a couple of YouTube videos and things like that uh, regarding uh, Giants Editor but um, you know everything that I've figured out and picked up on my own uh, has really just been by messing around so here's some of these areas where there's trees and things that you know I want to try to get rid of you know because implements tend to get in the way uh, when you're moving around when you're moving around the map so but uh, I hope everybody like I said I hope everybody's having a wonderful Christmas today uh, if you have an opportunity to watch this today you know if you're taking a couple minutes to get away from family I completely get it but uh, man the channel's doing the channel's doing excellent uh, you know quite a few new subscribers today um, probably just because the fact that uh, I've got a bunch of videos up the uh, the Facebook page uh, for the uh, for the channel is uh, is growing as well so I'd like to thank every one of you that have uh, liked our Facebook page subscribe to the videos hit the notification bell for when uh when I upload something so uh got a little bit of new tech this year got a green screen obviously if you haven't noticed you can see uh it's right behind my head you know you can see the the ground textures and stuff like that and you don't you're not just seeing the inside of my house and then uh I got a new monitor, so that's why there's the big, there's all the black bar at the bottom of the screen because I moved up to a 21 by 9 uh, IPS display. So, so yeah, that's awesome. So for some reason, I don't understand why this building is here, but. Uh, it's multiple layers of you know pieces so it was put together it was put together piece by piece by piece I mean it's it's in a str strange location so more than likely I'm just gonna try to get rid of it and uh, you know get rid of some of these trees over here but uh, from what I understand and maybe some of you are are a lot more well versed in Giants Editor, and maybe not. Um, when you when you can click on an item like this tree, and you see all the polygons and everything, and the X Y axis all show up together because it's one single piece, right? And then I can just hit delete, and it's gone. But like with this shed, it's multiple it's multiple layers, multiple pieces put together to build out this structure so you know in order to get rid of it all or rescale it all you have to select each individual layer each individual item and that'll allow you to you know either change it you know like we can move we can move it up and down we can move it left and right and then if I want to just go back I just hit undo and it goes back to where it is and then we can you know rotate we can rotate it around so 
I really wish, uh, and maybe maybe I'm just missing, you know, uh, more tutorials out there on how to uh, how to work with Giants Editor. But uh, okay, come on, give me go back. So, but at any rate. So I'll just keep getting rid of some of this, some of these trees that are over here, because I want to add, I want to add some buildings and whatnot over here, and I'll have to figure out how to change, you know, like the foliage layers and stuff like that, where we have the bushes and things. And there's a couple of areas around where you have the barbed wire fences that need to, you know, can be removed or you know modified so I'll continue to do that and kind of make it what I want just to play on and do some really good content with so one piece at a time you know every few minutes I go and save my work just in case you know God forbid there is a you know I have a crash or something but uh, the updated Midwest Horizon map is really good loving it so far uh, I just started a save game on this updated Alberta map which uh, you'll be seeing some more of that content uh, coming up But uh, hopefully everybody's liking uh, liking what's going on, and I do appreciate every single person sticking around and watching the videos and liking the videos and you know staying engaged with the with the channel. I mean that's awesome. I'm I'm attempting to do. I'll probably set up. You know I already got Discord set up. I may potentially do a Patreon link, and I'll probably uh, I'll probably do some like early access videos and things like that for Patreon. Uh, I'm working uh, I'm working with someone on a brand new uh, intro to all the videos, so which will all be it'll all be 3D. So I'm pretty stoked for that. That's something new that'll be coming here this year for 2020. And then uh, I'm also going to learn how to edit videos because all my videos are done. I record them. I add some information to this, you know, to the title, you know, make generate a title and put some stuff down in the description and upload it. And it's not uh, it's not edited in any way. But uh, I want to learn that as well. So uh, pretty excited to uh, learn something new. And uh, I'll just keep picking it up, uh, picking it up on my own. And, you know, I'll watch other content creators on how to do certain things. Because there's a plethora of knowledge out there. For most of you that don't know, let's see now. Can I? Again, I still gotta figure out the foliage layers. There we go. But I'm gonna make this building disappear because it's just it's kind of funky. It's just in a strange. It's in a strange location. See, and you can see there's other other items just we're just chilling there so foliage will be my next you know I, I just like I said learning the basic functionality on how to manipulate uh, the map and do what I want it to do so trying to figure out the controls which uh, 
aren't necessarily, you know, they're not necessarily intuitive if you don't know what's going on. So, we got a piece here. Oh, that's just a post. So that should probably, that should probably do that along that fence. I just, some of these fences that are in between the fields, uh, they do get in the way. You know, the, the hired worker uh, crashes into them all the time. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. You know, and some of some of them, uh, like on this barbed wire, you can do it as a you know individual items. Let's say you wanted to leave the post there, and uh, and just make the make the section uh, re just remove part of a section so that you have a wider, say, a wider entrance into the field. You can obviously just pick on each layer of the item, or I can go to the post, and it's going to get it's going to give me all three layers of barbed wire and the post gone. You know, so I'll just I'll go back. So here's the just one layer of the barbed wire gone. Delete, delete, and then the post still stays there, so that there's not just barbed wire just hanging out in midair. But, uh, you know, and then obviously just the post itself. But. Move this up. Oh. No, I don't want to select the mountains. I mean, obviously this is a good way to. This is a good way to wear out a mouse because you got to there's a lot of a lot of clicking you're doing a lot of clicking. But uh hopefully everybody think is enjoying enjoying this and uh by no means am I a you know a, an authority on Giants editor. I've just started messing around and figuring how to do things on my own. You know, uh, at some point, I'm going to figure out how to manipulate all the transform groups that are over here on the left. You know, it gives you all the different, all the different uh, layers. You know, it's like, a, it's like a cake. So, you know, and then uh, I'll, once I can start messing around with the foliage, uh, then I'm going to figure out how to ex import and export objects from other maps so that uh, I can add, you know, a, a better level of depth into it. But I wanted to just do a, just a quick one. Nothing, uh, nothing too long like we normally do. I've already been going for about 13 minutes. So, again... Merry Christmas. I hope everybody has a wonderful beginning of 2020 and had a great Christmas with their family. And uh, stay tuned for more really good content coming up on the channel. And uh, I appreciate every single one of you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And we'll see you in the next one.